one. I competed in my first powerlifting meet about two weeks ago now, and I kind of just wanted to recap. Um, first and foremost, I was qualified. <laughs> um, <laughs> so pretty much it did not go as good as I would have hoped because I didn't actually even score. Um, my anxiety really played a big factor in it. My anxiety has gotten a lot worse throughout the last few years, really. My cat is yelling at the door. This might be But it has really gotten worse. Um, for bodybuilding, like, I still get nervous, of course, going on the stage and everything. But for powerlifting, actually competing and showing my strength and just lifting in front of all these people is something really new to me because I don't even go to a gym. I work out at my house. So even going there, I didn't talk the entire 40 minutes to my husband. I We listened to the Chainsmokers album, but I was really focused on taking deep breaths and trying not to think about it. Um, when I got there, I, was kind of, I wasn't really overwhelmed. It was a really big need. There was a lot of people there. DLD was there, which was really cool. Um, but it's definitely like I didn't know what was going on. I was trying to just like cling to whoever I could find so that way. I wouldn't be messing up or anything. Um, so pretty much when it came down to squatting, I was second up. And my first lift, I went up there, it was 210, went down, came up. I didn't listen to the command. They actually tell you when to squat. And I just grabbed the bar, went down. I was just really focused on drowning out everything else and just getting the weight. But focused so much so that I didn't listen to the judge. So I'll show you that. Anthony Harris, 95 kilos, 209 pounds on the bar. Kind of wait for the commands. There's two commands. So I kind of was like, all right, I definitely went down far enough for 210, so I will try 220. And I'll listen to commands, I'll be fine. I go down, you can see I can, I'm smiling in it, and there we go. Push. And guess what? They say they get me on deck. They say I didn't go low enough, which is like my biggest fear when I've been practicing. I've been like a Nazi about with my husband about going down far enough. Um, so. I know when I'm really nervous, then I mentally I just can't do things. Like anytime I was nervous about lifting, even at home, I couldn't. If my husband was down there watching or spotting me, I couldn't because I got nervous. And I know it makes like no sense with my husband. I've been with him for like 12 years, but it's just me. Um, so at that point, you have a minute to tell them what your third lift would be. And I came down to the last five seconds, and for some reason I said to go to 230. I don't know why I should have just stayed at 220. Um, so at that point, my just was not there. I, all the judges kind of were trying to give me help and support and like just get your butt down and everything like that. Um, I went up, I squat down, and I heard someone in the audience yell up when I shouldn't have been listening to the audience at all. And I stood up, got two white lights, yes, finally got the lift, and then they changed their mind. The judge said he hit the wrong button. So. I was a little annoyed at first, and like the gym owner came up and told me that like maybe I could argue it because on video there is two white lights, and um, pretty much the judge said they changed their mind right away, so it didn't matter, and I had the option to either continue competing, but I was no longer recorded like in the meet. My score would always be a zero. So pretty much I spent the time before bench contemplating if I should go or not, arguing with judges, so they probably did not like me very much. Um, and I didn't even warm up for bench. I went up just to do 110. And of course, what did I do? I, here you go, see if you can figure it out. I didn't listen to the command. You have to wait for them to say press for you too pick the bar back up off your chest, and I did not at all. So I was really down on myself. I was very embarrassed um, because, of course, they announce your name every time you go up, and literally everyone in the audience that knows anything about powerlifting knew that I no longer had a score, and plus I had big red blocks next to all my numbers, 
that were forever on the screen <laughs> in front of each other. In front of everyone to film me. So I was really embarrassed to say the least. So I went up a second time and the weight just felt so heavy to me. I listened to the commands, I couldn't get up. Um, I felt like really tight in my chest. I definitely think it's because I was so tense, I was so upset. I was like telling myself all I wanted to do was like go outside and like cry or just go home. Like I was so just not very happy. Um, so my third one, I completely had given up. I let myself just not care anymore and I failed my third lift for benching too. So I did not get squats or dips, or squats or bench. So deadlifts came around, um, went outside just, and I also didn't eat before benching at all. I hadn't ate anything as whole meat besides like a half a protein bar and some um, pre-workout. So really that was stupid on my behalf. I was just so upset. Um, I went outside to just um, get some air and eat something with my husband. And of course, like the gym owner came running out because he thought I left. Um, he, which was really nice of him because he didn't want me to leave. He wanted me to stick, stick it out. So for deadlifts, I still decided to compete. Um, I started with 275 and it was funny because everyone was so supportive. So every time I would come off the whatever, come off the front of the bar, um, everyone would be like thumbs up, like did you get it? And I was like, no. But I was so nervous that literally the bar was shaking. When I was benching, all I could think was about how the bar wasn't stable, that it was shaking for me because I was that nervous in front of everyone. And um, that's when I blew the command the first time and then the second two times I felt it too. Even squatting like my third time, I know that I my whole body was trembling. So it's really something I feel like I need to get over myself, like I need to work on because my anxiety really got the best of me. So, um, but when I went out for deadlifts, I did 275 and I got that fine. And of course my motivation was like, right here, like, no, I'm not, like I promise, I'm not a weak little girl. Like, I know I'm strong. So I did my second lift, 292, got it. And then I went, go bigger work, go home. I did 320. <laughs> So I PR'd by four pounds on my deadlift, and I was really happy with that. It was definitely a good comeback. I definitely like you look at some of the judges' faces. I think they're a little surprised too because I was failing everything. Um, so I finally did did that, and that really made me feel a little bit better about everything. I think everything going into the meet, um, I was just anxious all over. Even on Friday night, I realized okay, a week before my meet that Thursday. I realized that my uniform was not approved by USAPL, um, so I ordered an Inzer um, suit and singlet played extra for shipping, so it would be there in time. Friday, the day before the meet, I it's not here, so I call UPS or no. yeah, I call UPS and I ask them where it is, and they say that they couldn't find my address, which was crazy. Like I have no idea why. Um, I was on the phone with customer service over and over again telling and they kept telling me oh when did you business days and I was like no like I need it or I, I need it like or I can't compete. Luckily they let me pick it up at the airport so I drove like 40 minutes to get it and like an hour home because it was rush hour traffic to get my singlet the night before my meet. So <laughs> everything leading up to it was just stressful and I really want to redeem myself and do it again because I know I'm capable of doing so much more than I did. I. I really just need to work on my anxiety and being able to share myself in front of people. Um, I'm happy I finished deadlifts off so. though. Um, I guess I never realized how big an effect like just me personally would have on my performance, but it really, really does. Um, yeah, so that is my first powerlifting meet. I want to do another one, um, but I think I want to do like a kind of like a just gym meet. Maybe one that's unsanctioned, just to kind of get over my nerves and my fear of working out in front of people. Um, and even just work out with some other people. Um, I have some friends that showed me even the basics of powerlifting and the powerlifting, and they've been really supportive and offered to show me some more guidance before this meet. So that's the hope. And yeah, my first meet wasn't as great as it could be, but it is what it is. And I'm still proud of myself for doing it.
Dakota.